yo what's good guys producer michael here again with another tutorial and um i hope you've gained from my previous tutorial so this is a part two of the beat we started last week i got a lot of comments i got a lot of feedback from you guys and i really appreciate so this week we'll just be rounding up this beat so um i think i have the intro and part of the verse one set already so just to complete it to have a second verse and then um, we're done so let's i just hope this will be a shorter tutorial than the previous one because everything is already set so we just to kick start all right so without wasting time let's just go straight into it so just to loop the verse so we hear what we have set already Yeah, okay, so quickly, without wasting time, and um, I might not be talking at some point, so I'll be, I'll be able to save time. So you just try and follow me, and you really benefit from this. So I'm just copying and pasting the vocal sample which I used. add that So I can just quickly edit the bars.
Yeah, I think everything is going smoothly. Okay, so let's just take it from the intro to where we are now so we could see how the build up goes. Okay, yeah, so far so good. So um let's So quickly, let me just quickly go to my chorus. Also 16 bars. We could just find a way of adding more sounds to the to the chorus so it makes it a bit busier than the verse. So now we can do, we could just quickly add more sounds to the to the chorus. So let's see um, what I can add. Um.
just like a marimba sound. I don't know if it's going to fit, but uh, let's try it. Basically, that's I think that's how far how far we go.
Let's give it some reverb and some delay. Yeah, and if, you, if you've been following me closely, see that I haven't really say I'm doing one serious mixing from the whole song, you can see. And it's already sounding nice and heavy already. So once you can pick out the right sound, your jam will be hitting already, even before adding anything. So the little you do is just EQ and reverb and delay. So. That's just how I do my thing. Yeah, so I always add my automation, like a fade out. Yeah, so I might sit down again with this and more ideas will come, but because I'm constrained with time, so this is what I'll be able to do, and I, I hope you guys like it. We've come to the end of this tutorial, and um, basically this is how it is, intro, verse, hook, verse, hook, and um, outro. You can change, you can decide to start with hook, anyone. Don't forget to like, comment, leave your questions, and um, I'm sure I'm going to reply every one of it. And um, thank for those who participated in the beat completion, the one I did like two weeks back. I'm like, I'm getting a lot, a lot, a lot of of emails, people sending me stuff they've done, and um, wow, you guys are amazing. So by the end, of, by the end of this month, I'll be announcing the winner, and I'll be giving away the um, Echo Zanku Park. Yeah, which, 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 which is, which is great, 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 lots of, lot and lot and lot, a lot of great sounds. Yeah, so if you still want to participate, you can just send me an email. My the email is in the description. And I'm um, thank you for watching. So let me know the next tutorial you want to see next week in the comment section. Thank you very much. So I'll just play it from the top down to the bottom as I go out. Okay, sorry, sorry. I just remembered that um, I should um, add my 
I am Pusha. So when I'm adding this, first of all, I solo the kick and the bass. So that I'll get my bass sitting right. Okay, then I side chain my bass and my kick. There's a video I did earlier in my, you can check my previous video on how to side chain your bass and your kick. Yeah, so you could see it's already pumping, it's already hitting well. Without the iron pusher, let's see. You could see it's just flat, but with it now, everything is pumping. So once my bass is sitting, I could bring in my other percussive elements. Okay, so we have our conga is now clashing with our bass. So what do we do about that? Let me just mute that for now and see. Yeah, let me just see if I could EQ the frequency that's conflicting out. Yeah, I think I'll leave it like that. I can still feel the impact, so it's okay there. on my high, just increase a little bit to balance it. iron pusher and without so with
find out. Everything is tamed, everything is limited, and I'm um, hitting well. So that was, I forgot I would have showed you that earlier. So.